Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of my Wednesday morning live painting. Good morning, Ellen. Hi, Kathy. How are you guys? Hi, Natalie. Um, so are you guys going to paint along with me? This is a special edition for the holidays. Uh, Izzy's here. She's going to film me. Um, you'll have to put on your own Christmas music because I don't think I can play Christmas music because um, YouTube would take the video down, I think. I should look research. There probably is some um, <clears throat> royalty-free holiday music I would think that I could use, but I didn't get that far. Hello to Atlanta. Is it nice and warm in Atlanta? So today we're going to do a fun abstract um, Christmas ball painting. So I did this little sample fun one. You could really do this with anything, um, any kind of paint. You could play with watercolor. It's just kind of doing fun abstracts underneath and then making circles and coloring them in and then having fun on top of that. So it was inspired. Um, I did a, an abstract painting that I have in my living room for the holidays. I'll have to show it to you. And I was just looking at thinking that would be fun to do with the whole group. Um, I'm using acrylic. So Isabel here, do you want to hold it for me? And you have to tell me when people, Izzy's do, so this is a little different. It's hard for me because I won't know. Uh, oh, and let me just make the excuse. We're in my studio. It is not only my studio right now, but it's Santa's workshop. It is a complete and total disaster. I meant to clean it up, but you know, there's no time for that right now. So I apologize since Isabel's going to be filming, you're going to see a little bit more of my messy environment and I'll just apologize in advance. Um, so this, this is what we're going to do. And it's one, <coughs> I'm using Bristol board. You can use anything, but I'm using this. It's Bristol board. And I coated it with some gesso just because I like the texture that it adds and I think it gives a little bit of a barrier for the moisture. I'm just using this golden gesso. And I usually have a few of these that I, I don't know, there's something in the process of gessoing or like when I paint my panels, the gold sides, like when I'm tired but I still feel like being creative, that's the kind of things I do and I enjoy it. So you could do this <clears throat> any way you want. Like I was thinking this, you know, I'm going to do the same one, but it would even be fun if you did black and white ornaments, like with blacks, whites, and grays, and did your background as like a, a cool grayish blue, and then do your little toppers, like that would be really fun. You could do dark ornaments and paint your background white, or like this, do just fun colors. And I was trying to get it. Christmassy looking and I think I think I succeeded. I like Christmas colors that aren't quite traditionally only red and and green. At my on my Christmas tree our tr lights are like blue. What are they blue, green. green and white and they look really pretty. So, we're on the other side of my desk. I usually do my oil painting. I have a space over on the other side. And then this is my little acrylic desk. So, a lot of this I learned from Betty Krause, who paints very intuitively and abstract, and she does kind of abstract florals, and I love watching her paint. I find it very relaxing. I did. She's one of my art crushes that I interviewed, um, and there's it's on my blog if you guys want to see it. So just to get started and loosen up, you can just do anything. Just draw all over your paper. Like I'm gonna do layers and layers of just fun stuff without thought, without worrying about anything. Um, just put down colors. I think I'm gonna do kind of cool colors first and then do warm colors on top since I have it ending up mostly pink and red. But this is the fun part is just having fun with it and not um, this is kind of, I didn't even use, this is phthalo green. I've been playing around with phthalos even in my, um, I think I messed up this paintbrush. You know, I found one thing that I thought would be the opposite. I find that I have a harder time keeping my acrylic brushes 
from going bad, like they get hard because acrylic's like plastic. I always thought it was harder doing, difficult with oil painting because you had to always wash them and take care of them. But if you buy an oil brush and you take care of it, it lasts a while. I find that my acrylics, I, I mess up my brushes in like no time. Anybody have any tricks for taking care of, of um, oil painting or acrylic brush brushes? That's a pretty color, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I need a little coffee. And then I'm going to add this green. I need to get more of this. I love this golden green gold. I need and I have a sap green hue, but like there's very little left in this. Betsy said soak them in Murphy's. Oh, just, oh, that's what I do with my, okay. That's good to know. Yep, that's what I do with my um, oil paint. Thank you. So when you're finished doing your own artwork, I would love to see it. I thought maybe we use the hashtag inspiring art 2020, or you can, you know, tag me if you post it, because I would love to see what you create. I was thinking that's what I'm going to call, I'm talking about doing a membership in next year, 2021, and we would do fun things like this, oil painting lessons or just fun activities and um, if you want to be on the list to know about that when I get my stuff together and have it ready, be sure to be on my uh, mailing list, my email list. I'm excited to work on it, but I've kind of, I had a super busy Christmas season. I really am grateful for all the paintings and calendars and ornaments and all the things, and my husband helped me with all the shipping, and it was crazy, but... It was a good season. It was really fun, but I need to, to rest for a few days. I still have a lot of, you know, I have a design business, and I have a lot of work to get done today for that. Let's pull in some up. It's kind of fun. It's just fun to play and see what happens. It's fun to see how colors mix together, but, you know, I'll cover this over, so... It's just fun to be creative and not, not worry about anything at all. Um, thank you, purple, too. So how many of you are painting along with me? This is a hard adjustment for me because I can't see if you're talking or not. You have to tell me. Nobody say anything? How, tell me if you're painting along. I kind of feel like my <clears throat> my post about doing this didn't get out. <clears throat> and did you guys get my email that m mentioned this? Like, I wonder if you found out about this from Instagram, or did you find out about this through Facebook, or... People are saying they are painting, painting along. along. Oh, good. Yay. Aaron said Sam and I are. Oh, good. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Aaron is my niece, and Sam is, is her daughter. And she's very, very artistic. I actually, when I was looking for, I don't know if you remember Erin, but I was pulling out um, Christmas recipes. And Erin would normally be here with us for Christmas. Well, I guess not this year. This is your niche year, isn't it? Um, I was going through and I have a whole stack of painting, of drawings that Sam did in my recipe area. And I love it. I love. I just will always have them there because I enjoy it when I come upon them. They were of your um, ladies with the hair over one eye and big diamonds and so fun. Sam is super creative. Patty wants to know what your email is. Oh, my email is Kim Smith at tcgad.com. It's kind of a confusing email, but it's because my my advertising and marketing business is called TCG Design, and I just when I started doing this business, I just um, used that same email with a different name. 
Patty wants to know if this is just to warm up or if it's going to turn out to be the ornaments. It's going to turn out to be the ornaments. Um, what paints are being used? I am using a lot of golden. This is transparent. I love playing around with transparency, too. So this is a transparent paint. Most of these are. I think all these are that I'm playing with right now. <coughs> it's a golden, and I also love these Nova colors, too. Colors too. Oops. Yep, this is how I did that other painting. I just played and played. I'm just hoping I get it done in time, but I think I will. If not, we'll just fast forward and I'll finish it anyway. Just put some black. I think I'm gonna put a little black in there. I just feel like it. <clears throat> This is the part of the painting where you just do things because you feel like it. Well, <clears throat> it's always good to do that. Where's everybody tuning in from? <clears throat> Back up here. <clears throat> Ellen, can you hear my music? <clears throat> Michigan and Texas. Michigan. Vancouver, Doylestown. Doylestown, that's close. Oh, is that Mary Jo? Mm-hmm. Hi, Mary Jo. I'm letting it dry a little bit. Other colors would be fun. I have some weird greens. I could mix greens, too, but maybe I'll... Oh, you know what? I want to do this color. I want this teal. I get much messier doing acrylics than I do oils. Although oils spread so, you know how that is. Oil paints like go get on everything. Acrylics I just get all over myself, but it doesn't really spread all over my house. I want the only one she has on her sensitive headphones. Oh, okay. Is everybody having fun with this part of it? Yeah, it's gonna be a different Christmas to not all be together. But hopefully it's only for one year. So we normally have <clears throat> about 50 people at our house and it's gonna be very different this year very calm and quiet but i'm kind of looking forward to the change i'll appreciate the good parts of it it's getting a little bit muddy but that's okay everybody doing like similar kinds of colors is anybody trying painting with um making it all black and white is anybody working with like a different kind of medium like watercolor i have so many things like i feel like next week i hope lasts at least a month because i have so many things i want to do like i've got bought myself a knitting project because i love to knit i haven't knit in years I um <clears throat> I want to make those really pretty cookies that are like ice that are smooth. Um, I are I think there I found a website or a 
I was following someone on Instagram and they make them. So I really would like to do that next week. So I hope the week lasts forever. <clears throat> Blues and purples. Blues and purples. And yellow, dark purple, teal, and olive. Oh, olive's fun. I wonder if I could kind of make an olive. I'm going to put a little gold in here. The Nova color gold, it's really pretty. I feel like mine's getting a little wet. I have to slow down a little bit. So have you guys been watching Christmas movies? What's your favorite Christmas movie? I've only seen two so far this season. I saw Christmas Vacation, which is my husband's favorite. We always watch that. Reminded me because I'm listening to the song from that right now. And we watched Elf. But I haven't seen any other ones yet this year. It's a happy mess, isn't it? Anything Hallmark and The Holiday. Oh, The Holiday. Yeah, I love that movie. That is a good one. What is the gold you're using? Oh, that was a Nova Color gold. Pearlescent opaque. These Nova colors, you have to order them right from that Nova company or in California. Polar Express, Christmas Chronicles. Christmas Chronicles. Christmas with the Cranks. Oh, that's fun. I, we almost watched that. And my little friend, uh, my neighbor Emerson, who's, I think she's three now, or she four, Isabel, I forget, um, here. So a lot of times we have to look for movies that are appropriate for her. I think Christmas, was, no, that's not the one we were going to watch. It was something else. But we ended up not watching it because it had like rotten toma tomatoes. But I don't think that that makes any difference to me. I like movies that even if they aren't that great because I hardly ever get to watch movies. That's so fun. Someone said jumped on late. What's the directions? <clears throat> We're painting on... <coughs> I'm using... <clears throat> excuse me. You can use anything you have around. But I'm using a piece of Bristol board. I coated it with some gesso. <clears throat> and now what we're doing, we're making Christmas ornament abstract painting. So the base of it's just fun abstracts, um, shapes and colors and stuff. And then we're just going to draw circles and color it in and... Voila, so um, believe it or not, this is how I started that painting. <clears throat> I could do tons of these. This does, I don't get bored doing this at all. I need a sip of my coffee. Who's having coffee and tea today? <clears throat> There's some green. always takes longer to dry too than other colors do. Coffee. Coffee. All of them are coffee. Me too. So gotta let it dry a little bit. Patience is a tricky thing for me. I don't have much of it. Peppermint tea. Oh, that sounds good. We made sand tarts last weekend. Did you guys see? I posted about it. We used, and we also made the press cookies with my mom's old press. They were fun to do. Isabel actually had the best touch with that. <laughs> Didn't you, Is? Mm -hmm. I love those old tr fashioned traditional things like that. And a lot of times we don't get around to making cookies because we're always getting ready to have so many people here. So it was nice. What is the type of acrylic you're using? I only have used Golden Heavy Body, which dries too fast. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm using a lot of mine are golden, but I have a lot of the transparent. I have some heavy body. I think maybe. I don't know what these are. 
I don't know. I, guess I, have, I have a lot of these too, this Matisse structure. This is the kind of gold paint I use on the sides of my panels. I guess this is the heavy body. Is this, yeah, is this the kind you have? I like this too. What was that crayon thing you were just using? Oh, this is called, um, is this the one that you were talking about? Mm -hmm. This is the Stabilo Woodies. They're actually like for little kids, but they're really fun. They have a nice, they make a nice mark. You know what I mean. Love a nice, nice solid mark. What time is it, Isabel? Eight twenty-one. Okay. Still good on time. Love purples at Christmas time too. Do you use just one paint? One paint? Mm -hmm. Um, just acrylic, yes. Acrylic and then, you know, pens and pencils and stuff. But I don't <clears throat> do acrylic and oil or anything. This is like kind of a nice way of enjoying acrylics and not being um too worried about how quickly they dry because that's my biggest challenge because they're so different. Oil paints take forever to dry and acrylic paints, like I feel like they dry before you want them to. So let me have a sip of coffee and let it dry a little bit. I think I'll go in with some warmer colors now. Do you use just one brush? No, I have different brushes. I just was using one brush, but <clears throat> I'll do some fun marks with this. I need a skinny. I'll use one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think I'll use an aquadome magenta. Oh no, I'm going to do some Indian yellow. Um, I should put it in <coughs> a little bit in a container here. I'm dipping it in water so it's really wet. Of course, that's going to take long to dry, but. What's the lamp you have? Oh, right. This one? Mm -hmm. Or just say both, I guess. Oh. Because I don't know. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't even remember where I got this. So I have a few of these. I like, I have to think about what it's called. Does it say it on here anywhere? Oh, here I think it says, it's called a UB size, U-B-E-E-S-I-Z-E. -E -E. No, I don't have it on. <clears throat> there. And then I have a long one. I have the one over there that's really nice because I like how, um, how much height I can get, but then I can't read what you guys are saying to me. So I only used that like twice and didn't like the, uh, like that quality. Sorry, is thank you for keeping me orderly. It's still a little wet. I should have brought my hair dryer down this morning. Do you want me to go get it? Mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. I always loved it like in elementary school when we would do holiday crafts for art class. If you add a little bit of water to some of these like more transparent colors, you get a really nice glowing light transparency. <clears throat> I was um, something I guess I never thought about I was listening to uh, so 
something last night as I was going to sleep and, and, and he was talking about the difference between transparent, translucent, and opaque. And of course I know transparent and opaque, but I never really thought about translucent. So like transparent, you can see all the way through. Translucent, you can see through, but it's like a tint where like, like you see the color and you see what's behind it. And of course opaque, you can't see through it at all. But I never thought about playing around with the idea between translucent and transparent in my art. I love when I learn little things like that and it makes me think about things differently. I love transparency. I've been playing around too with my oil painting. I've been playing with, um, I call everything playing with, but it truly is to me. It's like so much fun. I've been playing around with um, doing um, glazing, like transparent washes, like to do an oil paint painting, get a lot of it down and then let time pass and then come go back into it and put glazing of colors over top. I love how that looks. I love how you can kind of see through the colors. That's been one of my recent obsessions is playing with that. So what's new, you guys? Are you ready for Christmas? Do you feel like you have all your things ready? Gifts bought? I hope so. It's like shipping was such a nightmare this year. Um... I don't know how last minute things are getting anywhere. I'm glad I closed my shipping really early. Kind of second guessed myself. But so far I've only heard of one person that didn't receive their package and I just sent another one. It's a little harder when it's an original painting, but this wasn't, it was one of my calendars. So I was able to do that. Ellen said, do you thin the oils to glaze? Yes, yep, I use like a medium with them. And using a lot more walnut oil. I'm going to play with this. This is just a craft paint, but I found it in the drawer when I was cleaning up. It doesn't look like I cleaned up at all, but <clears throat> see what this color looks like. Because it's acrylic too. Let's just throw it in. Shelly said she got her calendar and loves it. Oh, good, Shelly. I'm glad. Thanks for ordering it. It's a little more transparent. Transparent. Translucent. Transparent. I don't know. <laughs> Is that crazy that I don't quite get that? Transparent and translucent. Do you guys make any um, handmade gifts for anyone this year? I, did I do any? I'm sure I did. Well, I did paintings for people. I didn't really make anything. I used to love to like make homemade things for people. I have a lot of painting orders for people in my family, but I didn't. Holiday is not a good time to do all that kind of stuff. It's too busy. How's everybody's looking? I wish I could see them. I wish we were all together. <clears throat> it would be more fun. Oh, this one's... I'll dry brush a little bit. Carol Ann. Uh huh. Said expecting my first grandchild knitted a beautiful receiving blanket. Oh, that is so fun. That'll be a treasure that they'll have forever. I I love knitting. Excited to knit next week. That's so nice.
Christine said, my resolution for 2021 is to finish your florals course and master it. Oh, good. Yay. Yay. I'm going to release that again in the spring. Do it another time. It was fun. I hope you enjoy it. And everybody's still posting in the Facebook group, too. Really nice group of people. I couldn't be any luckier with the people who took the class with me for the first time. They're still wet. I'm just going to do that because I don't want all this wetness. Small Cup Design said next time we should do a Zoom live, but that means I have to get out of my PG. <laughs> you don't have to. It's what I'm usually painting in. What are you going to make with your knitting kit? Um, it's from a company called Pearl Soho, and it's something simple. It's just like a little cowl neck kind of scarf. And um, <clears throat> I think I'd also like to, I need to make some more. We have all hand knitted Christmas stockings, like my mother made mine. <clears throat> so since my family's going to eventually grow. <clears throat> I was thinking I could make some Christmas stockings next. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, I know. It looks a mess. My husband's here looking at me. He always is like, what are you doing? What the heck is that? It's a mess, huh? It'll be beautiful at the end, I'm sure. What do you think, guys? Does your, does your look kind of like this? Big mess? <coughs> <clears throat> Someone said that they wish I would um, write what you're doing and with what. Would do what? Write what you're doing and with what. Oh. oh no, that I don't you would even know it? what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, Isabel wouldn't know that. <laughs> yeah, you could just do this with anything. I mean, it's fun to think, find out what other people use. Like this, I love these. These are Karan da, da, Dash. I never, Karan Dash. I never quite know how to say that. I like the line they make. Um, oh, let's do some dots. I have these fun. I love these too. These are, let's see if this one works, Posca markers. And they, they make a nice, like, nice solid dot. I need to ask if I like making things too. No. No. Can <laughs> you hear Isabel talk? <clears throat> I don't know because I have my headphones in. Do they only hear me or do you hear Isabel? <clears throat> they hear me because okay. someone said that their husband said the same thing, that he wouldn't know what they were doing. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> no, Isabel doesn't ever do this stuff with me. Are you those oil sticks or just markers? <clears throat> They're just markers. Yeah, I'm not using any oil right now. Are any of your children artists? No. Mm -hmm. um, Emily sometimes. Emily can be, yeah. And Emily more likes baking and things like that, which is also art. They all say they can hear me. Oh, good. <clears throat> you got to turn around and say hi so they see you. No, Isabel did put She literally rolled out of bed a minute before she came down here and filmed. But I couldn't, I, you know, this is too big. I would, for me to be able to do the way I normally do my Wednesday mornings, right on my easel or whatever, I would have to do a tiny little thing. And it's a little more expressive going big. <laughs> they asked if I'm the track store. Are you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, no more track or cross country because of COVID. So she's missing her senior year of all the things. That seems to be adjusting just fine, right? Is yeah. It's a bummer not to do all the senior things, but I said like college is way more fun, so it'll all be fine. I like the mark that these make. I said that before. They're fun. I think there's a set you can get of like a whole bunch of them. I always think about getting that. Is anyone getting art supplies for Christmas? Is Santa bringing them anything fun? I did buy some art supplies for people for Christmas, but. Um, oh, I got she... this. This is my, I usually wear that messy gray um, apron. I love these. It's from, um, it's from Portland Apron Company. And so I got, this is my holiday attire. <laughs> I love the bright green. I think 
I need to go a little more pink. I'm like caught in these um, <coughs> cool colors. What time is it? 8.35. Alan okay. asked if I decided on college, but I didn't yet. So far, she likes Duquesne, which is in Pittsburgh. We went to visit there a couple weeks ago. And she also, well, she's, once, Temple's probably still your first choice, but she hasn't heard yet if she's got in there. And we haven't visited there yet either. I'm gonna get this fluorescent magenta, might be a little fun right now. Get my brush cleaned off. Anita said she loves a green apron. Thank you. Me too. I did get some fun, fun, what did I get for Christmas? I actually bought more things this year from other artists, like ornaments and <coughs> um, a planner that's really pretty. And um, what else am I getting for Christmas? That I think I know. I think I'm getting a present that I don't know what it is, which is... Yeah, two. Two? I think. Kind of unprecedented. Usually I buy my own gifts, wrap my own gifts. Because yep. you know how moms are. You want to be practical and get things you need, not things that you're not going to use. Sunderland Hill Studio said that they're in Pittsburgh. Oh, are you in Pittsburgh? And someone else said they went to an art store and finally got the magenta color for the art in bloom. Oh, good. And the magenta, the oil paint, I guess, not the, I don't think I used a magenta RNF pigment stick. What paint are you using? I'm using a mix of, of some golden colors, and then these are called Nova colors. But you could kind of do this with anything. You could even do this with... Um, Small Cup Design said where Temple is located is very different from Lancaster. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mother's concern. And where D Duquesne has the benefit of being in the city, but it's very um, kind of self-contained, whereas Temple's not. And we'll see where it all lands. Everybody have a big hot mess like this, like me? What time is it? I keep forgetting. 8.40. 8.40. Okay, so I guess I need to sort of start going to the next part of this. <clears throat> I feel like I have a little too much black down there. So let me get a little more... I'll figure it out later. Okay. So I'm going to take my black. I just have like a carbon black. Because I can always add more later if I wanted to. <clears throat> oh, I have pen. Okay. Maybe I'll just use a thick brush. No, I'm just going to draw circles. You could have your circles overlap. You could have them um, be in a grid. I think that might be kind of cool. You could have them all be the same size. You could have them be all completely different sizes. Um, you know, anything your heart desires. What are you painting on? I'm painting on a piece of um, Bristol board. And do you have a planner or are you just randomly improvising? I'm just randomly improvising. Sometimes I think I'm better off with no plan. I do think it would be fun to do this in a grid. I think it would be fun to do it in a grid. I think it would be fun to do it with coloring the background a light color with the black and whites like I talked about in the beginning. Like there are just so many fun things you could do with this.
to do that very calming part of coloring it in. I still find like, you know, being a child, I still find coloring in things very calming. Mary said, yes, the grid-like hearts that you did. Yes, like the grid hearts, yeah. Don't forget to um, share what you create and, and tag me in it so I get to see it. I'll share it too. And are you in my, I have an art friends group. Some people are in my art and bloom course group on Facebook too. Like look how fun they look when you just make them into, it's like your eyes have a pause. I think that's why they're so neat to look at. They're spontaneous and random, but yet when you... Um, Ellen said it's calming watching you. Thank you. Yeah, watching art happen is calming. I love it too. I love to watch other people paint. Like, that's what I do when I go to bed at night. I don't really watch much regular television, but I do love to watch videos on YouTube or courses that I subscribe to. I just love to watch art being created. Small Cup Design said I might... Cut mine out and make gift tags. Do what? Make gift tags. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that idea. fun. <clears throat> I'll hit more on that one. I have to let it dry here for a second. <clears throat> I always pick it up because it sticks then to my paper if I'm not careful because it gets on the other side a little bit. Sip of my coffee. And then I take a little bit of the darker, like a darker red, just to give them a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna like put some darker red at the bottoms. And I'll do a little highlight at the top. Anita said it looks like beautiful bubbles. It does look like bubbles. It does. Did I miss any? I did that other one. I kept finding ones that I completely missed. Maybe I'll make this light. Need some light. <laughs> wow, um, wow, the black totally changes the whole thing. Love, Sam. Oh, thanks, Sam. get I don't try not to get white paint in my or getting color in my white paint but I usually do sort of unavoidable a little black in there up oh, this one and this one right I know that too dominant mm -hmm. you can still play around with it like you can still let color bleed like if you wanted to black into it for the bottom edges soften them you can do like you know softer edges 
It can be more exact or just let it be totally spontaneous. Um, and I did some of these too. I liked it's still a little wet, but I did little, um, Oh, I even had colored pencils out. I never got around to that. <clears throat> time flies when we do this. Whenever I'm in the art studio, time flies. <clears throat> Just some green. What time is it? <clears throat> 46. Oh, oh, we're good. Yeah, hurry. So should we make the toppers gold or silver? Um, <clears throat> I think gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Isabel says yes. So we're using my gold to paint. <clears throat> Peggy said so cool. Thank you. Peggy who? Straw Oh, hi Peggy. Being out of school it? today. Peggy's my college roommate. Miss you. Will this be posted later? I'm moving so I can't quite keep up. Yep, you bet. I will put it um, both on my um, my website and I'll put it up on YouTube too. If you haven't been to my YouTube channel, I also post everything there. Peggy said miss you too. Oh. And Catherine Berry Art said beautiful. Thank you. It's fun. It's fun and whimsical. It's nice to do something when there, you know, there's no pressure of how it turns out. Did I miss any little? I don't think so. <clears throat> I love the how easy it is. <clears throat> you know, sometimes I'll feel like. Do <coughs> you ever feel like you get a little stuck with your art, and you're not sure where to go? Like this is a fun thing. Like just a little easy activity, so your brain can go kind of into its creative space with no pressure and then sometimes that's like when your best ideas come at least that that's how it often works for me <clears throat> um should I do I'm just gonna do I had the little loopy like the little toppers like these are too dominant I think so I'm making these a little smaller and I think I'm just gonna do the let me see. I think I might have a gold pen. Do I have a gold pen? Sue said that you always inspire her. Oh, good. I'm glad. I have a gold pen. That'll work. I think I'll just do a little. Let's try it out. <laughs> just picking up some of the black from underneath and making it dry. Much for that brilliant idea. Are you gonna cut them out? I wasn't going to, but you could. You could cut them out and glue them onto something. I love the idea of, of cutting them out as circles and, and making them name tags because then you could write on them with like a white pen. I have a really nice white pen that's upstairs at my computer. Where will these be so that they can see them? I will post them on on my um post them on my <clears throat> website on my blog so on my website there's a little part that's my blog and it's like a pull down menu at the top and they'll be there I mean I'll have I'll write a little article about them gosh this pen's not working either and I love this white one huh I think I 
wore everything out. Now there it's still, that's working a little bit. Well, I'm not liking how that's looking. <coughs> brown. Let me get see if I can get that gold to work. I should have another gold. I have pink. I have all kinds of weird colors, but is this the one I just had? Mm -hmm. Oh, looks a little happier. Let's see if that works. No, not really. Not really. How about this? It's this would work. Because I don't want them as dominant as those other ones were. Like I like the hint of it, but not not too strong. And you can put, you wouldn't even need to do that if you're going to cut them out and make them into gift tags. Wouldn't need to do that. <clears throat> um, I like that better. Sam, I can't wait to see what you're making. As you know, they don't have to look anything like mine. That's the fun part. And they're just spontaneous and happy. Anything else I should do? Maybe a little white. Can't do it in the gold yet. <clears throat> Anything else I need to do, Izzy? And it's fun, it has the texture. You can see the texture of all the stuff that went on underneath there. I love that. I love how it feels. And you could add, like in here, I did a little bit of... <clears throat> I played around with inside of those things, too. If you wanted to do that, you could. Um, but I can't because my paint's too wet right now. So, I think I'm finished. That's pretty good timing. So guys, post and tag me so I can see what you made. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always email me. My email is kimsmith at tcgad.com and this will be on my website in a little bit. I have a meeting at 9.30, so I might not get it up to about lunchtime. But I hope you enjoy your holiday. I hope you have a wonderful, peaceful, calm, healthy holiday this year and I'm not sure if I'll do this next Wednesday I don't know what'll be happening but I'll post on Instagram if I will be doing it so um thanks for hanging out and joining me and we'll see you soon bye